All right, you've heard it before. And in the world of real estate, there are fewer phrases that hold as much weight as location, location, location. You guys, of course, this timeless mantra encapsulates the fundamental truth that where a property is located plays an absolute pivotal role in the value and its potential for like long-term investment success, those kind of things. So if you're interested in that, this is the video you're going to want to watch today. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie Evans, owner and lead agent of the Living 48 Real Estate Team. Welcome back to another one of our video blogs, our vlogs. We are so glad to have you here today. And today we are talking about location, location, location. Yep. There are so many factors in this. So lots of factors that are going to affect your overall property value and that things like your property condition, market trends, all those kind of things. But nothing seems to matter more than the actual geography that um, is a part of where your, your property is located. So in this, in this video, we're going to explore a few things around location that are going to help give you um, a few tips on how to decide where the most promising locations are going to be for your optimal returns on your investment in real estate. Okay, let's talk about why location is so important in investing. All right, the answer lies in the fact that a property's surroundings directly impact its desirability, its demand, and all those ultimately play into the actual value of the property. So here are some key ways. I'm going to give you four key ways in which a location influences the real estate investment. Okay. So number one, the first one we want to talk about is neighborhood development. All right. You could be in an area where they are revitalizing neighborhood and that can dramatically alter the property values. Uh, you can be in an area where they're experiencing growth and amenities. So they're building new parks, they're building light rail, they're building schools, shopping centers, entertainment venues, all those kind of things. They tend to attract more buyers and ultimately that's going to increase the value of the property. Number two, let's talk about infrastructure projects. Now, if you are in proximity to a major infrastructure project here in Arizona, we've been talking about things like new um, uh, fun Disneyland type parks. I haven't seen them. What about different uh, sports fields and those kind of things? Uh, highways, public transportation hubs, airports, all those kind of things can significantly impact the property's uh, appeal and improved accessibility, connectivity, all those kind of things are going to, again, lead to higher demand. And those also are going to br bring in appreciation to your value. All right, number three, economic trends. Economic factors are things like your job growth, um, income levels, industry diversification. Uh, all those kind of things are going to play in heavy. So if a new a new company is going to relocate from California to Arizona. Where are they relocating? Who are they bringing with them? Do they need housing? All of those kind of things. Uh, investing in locations with a strong economic fundamentals, the cities who are really doing the things that they need to, to invite business and new economic growth into their cities, the areas that are closest to those new developments, those are going to provide greater stability and potential for appreciation again. All right, number four, the quality of the schools. This is a conversation I have with a lot of my like older buyers who we don't have kids in school. We don't really care about the schools. Well, yes, you actually do because it's going to attract your next potential buyer potentially. So we want to make sure that the schools are also playing in to what we're trying to do with our property. So families, quality of schools are typically the top top consideration when choosing where to live. So properties that are located within those higher demand areas are going to also command premium prices. And that is why those are really great long-term investments as well. Okay. Now, some people want a little bit of a leg up. Where are we going to find them before they hit? So let's talk about a few tips for identifying promising locations. Understand that there is always a little bit of risk when you're looking for new and up and coming areas, but we've got some tips to help you decide 
and kind of direct that decision-making process. All right. So I've got four of those again, but I'm going to throw a bonus one in on the end. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to research the market trends, stay informed, stay what developments are coming to the area, look for signs of population growth, look for job creation. Um, those are indicators that are going to help signal potential opportunities for growth. And those are going to be the areas that potentially you want to start investing in. All right. Number two, I want you to evaluate the neighborhood dynamics. These are going to be like the overall health, the vibrancy of the neighborhood. Are you are they showing signs of revitalization or are they offering things that people are going to want to have um, different kinds of amenities? How are the cities supporting? How are the infrastructures going? All of that kind of stuff. We want to look at and evaluate those neighborhood dynamics. Third one, I want you to consider the future potential. Okay, this is this is where I want you to look beyond what is currently happening. And I want you to see what is in the plans. Are there planned infrastructure projects? Are there planned zoning changes? Are there planned things that are going to be happening that could po positively affect the property values in the future? Buy low, sell high. That's where it is. It's a little more risky, but that is a great tip for those who are looking to invest. The number four tip, seek professional guidance, okay? Consult with your real estate professional. Consult with agents, appraisers, property managers, those who have insights in doing this day in and day out. Those are the people you're going to want to have on your team as your consultants and your support. They're going to be able to provide valuable guidance and maybe even inside scoop to help you navigate the complexities of investing in the real estate market. All right, promised you a bonus tip. Here's your bonus tip number five. Diversify your portfolio. Yes, you heard the real estate agent say diversify your portfolio. Spread your investments, especially your real estate investments, across different locations, okay? This is going to help mitigate your, ri your risk. So it's okay to not have all of your, your investment properties in one neighborhood or one city or even one state for that matter. So make sure that you're mitigating your risk and you're going to capitalize on the diversity of different markets and their opportunities. So geographically, all those different things. And that way, if you have a localized downturn, it's not going to affect all of the other investment properties that you have. This is going to really, really help maximize your, your potential returns. So let's wrap this all up. When it comes to real estate investing, Again, it is that mantra that is as old as time and as true as gospel, location, 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 okay? It is so, under, it, it's understanding this that is the most important single thing that you will do in your real estate investing career and portfolio. Careful analysis, research, having the right support people with you to help guide and consult with those are all going to be part of your long-term investment and growth strategy. Real estate is a fantastic place to grow your wealth. But again, it is so important that you do it with all the right principles and all the right decision-making choices in place. So thanks you guys so much for watching this video. If this is of interest to you, if you're interested in continuing on this conversation about real estate investing, we would love to chat with you and we'd love to be a part of your team. You can reach me directly at 480-415-1341. Visit our website at www.living48realestate.com. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell notification so that you get notified of all of our new videos. Or if you're watching this on social media, give us a thumbs, a like, a love, and throw a comment into the comments below. Let us know what your favorite part of this video was. And as always, please share this with anyone else that you know needs our help and our expertise. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on our next video.